Zeus Barge Garden at Whitehall, William Hovey Smith, 2016. Using salvaged soils, container, and found objects to grow food. I am the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and we not only eat deer, uh, we also grow an occasional vegetable. Now here, I have potted these plants back in June and put them in these uh, containers, and now we're transferring them to a larger container. Now, previously, I've had other videos where I have salvaged cemetery soils and screened those. And this mineral-rich product is used to make a potting soil, particularly when mixed with this wood earth that I've gathered from rotted pecan trees. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. Today, we are going to continue with our demonstration garden using salvaged soils. Here, we have our equivalent of peat moss, which was put together from soil that has actually derived from rotted hardwoods, pecans, and now is a sort of peat moss. In these pots, we have two tomatoes started, and also a potato, which actually sprouted in my refrigerator, and so I went ahead and put it in a pot and put some soil on it and started growing some plants. Now it's sort of late in the year, I, we're talking about mid-June by now, but I'm going to put these in this tub, which in previous life was Zeus Barge. In short, I used it to haul a dog and uh, decoys around when I was duck hunting. Now it has some holes in it, and it's going to just be a great big pot in which I'm going to transplant these three items. My erstwhile peat moss here has actually been exposed to 100 degree heat for several days. It was really thriving with insects, uh, in particular millipedes, but these are now extinct, as well as other insect life. They're pretty well baked out of it. Probably enough that we can actually start transplanting the plants. We have a knife to help extracting the same. Now this is our dead people dirt plus potting soil actually used to start so there's some mineral matter in this. This is not going to come out too clean because the roots have not well set, but better than they were. See how we do. Well, actually they did very well indeed. They are pretty well set. See their roots already all through that mass. It's good. Excellent. Did very well. There's one. I don't think this one is so well rooted. The potatoes are pretty forgiving. Considering what it was, I think that's pretty good. Alright. Mostly intact. Okay, that came out very well. The summer gardening is now completed. Mostly here at Whitehall, what we do is hacking and killing rather than growing and eating. But uh, 
this is definitely something in the growing and eating department. And so we'll come back later in the day and wet this down again. It's fairly well damp now, but we seeded the plants. And we put the support in there to support the tomatoes and also give the potatoes something to climb and grow on. So, yeah, this little tub should produce some significant eats. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. I am the author of a series of basic how-to hunting books. Now, these include backyard deer hunting, crossbow hunting, extreme muzzleloading, and even practical bow fishing, in which I describe new, inexpensive techniques for taking game close to home. I also have a new series of business books in the profit line. Now, the first among these are ideas for new businesses, how you can start your own million or billion dollar business, and my Hobie's Knives of China is one of these, and here's a little blurb about me. In the southeast, the yield depends not so much on how much you plant, but how much you can water, tend, and keep the bugs off. Now, come back in November, and I'll tell you how this thing produced. For more info on my books, blogs, and 525 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Here's info on Hovey's Knives of China, good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.